Jeff Speakman completes his demonstration. And now we move back to the fight ring for our next bout. Eight rounds. A super lightweight world championship. Freedia Gibbs from California taking on Valerie Hennin. And there is the woman who has been declared by her European peers the most dangerous woman in the world. But hers is a portfolio that includes more than just fighting. the lady herself and make no mistake she has no thoughts of her of her aspirations for acting or modeling right now she is all fighter her opponent Fridia Gibbs from Topanga California with eight fights to her credit let's go to ring announcer Jerry Hoffman once again ladies and gentlemen time now for the ISKA women's world Super Lightweight Championship scheduled for eight rounds. Chuck Simonini, the referee, introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the multi-colored trunks. This lady called Los Angeles Blue, tipping the scales at 136 pounds. Undefeated at 8-0 with six KOs. Going for the world title, say hello to Fredia Gilles. And her Fighting out of the blue corner, described in Europe as the most dangerous woman in the world. She is the current ISKA light welterweight world champion and comes all the way from Nice, France. Wearing black and yellow, the champion owns the 25 and 2 record. Here she is, Valerie Hannon! Eight rounds for the Super Lightweight World Championship. Here's a look at how our fighters measure up. Gibbs, three years older than Hennen. 136 pounds to the champion's 138. The champion slightly taller with two inches of extra reach. Mike, I think the question needs to be asked and answered right here. These women are not in here as a novelty. They are trained professional fighters. In the ISKA, Women's uh, divisions, full contact, freestyle rules, oriental rules. They've got the same number of divisions as the men, same titles. They are treated ident identical as the men, and they've been around fighting as long as the men have. It's not something new for us. Very impressed with the strength of these women. They're, they're not just technicians, they're both physically powerful. You look at the biceps on Freedia Gibbs, Don, and the abs. So this is the new, new evolution of uh, women's fighting. You know, they're not just technicians, there's strong physical presence out there. One thing Valerie Hinnon calls the Oh, and down goes the challenger. Chuck Simonetti calling that a knockdown. Standing eight count being delivered to Freedia Gibbs. I didn't actually see a knockdown there. I, I, I don't know what he saw. I'm gonna have to see the replay, but uh, she definitely wasn't stunned in any way. Before this bout, Hinnon told us she prefers to fight with low kicks in the freestyle rules or rules divisions. Not many hey, bouts hold, 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 contact hold, 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 division yeah. where you can only kick above the waist. She thought it may be a disadvantage for her night. Well, you know, she's European, and in Europe, they, they have a lot of uh, low-kicking experts. In other words, they, they do concentrate more on that than the hands. Break up, break up, break up. On those lines, Valerie Hinnon's trainer, Orlando Viet, the world champion at 159 pounds, light middleweight division, the same division we just saw with Francis Ryan, but in the Oriental Rules category. 
He is Henning's trainer. He's one of the best. He's trained her to be one of the best. And that's the end of round number one. Once again, we'll be fighting two-minute rounds with a one-minute break. And arrête de Allez, tiens. Don't go, don't go box with the family. Huh? Don't go box with the family. Ne va pas la chercher au point. Ne va pas la chercher. This is early in the round. Gibbs landing a strong right hand. Seemed to surprise Valerie Hinnon. And here's the knockdown, Don. Yeah, I, I really didn't uh, catch exactly what that was. Let me take another look at it. Yeah, good clean kick. Well, that's why I'm not a referee, Mike. Uh, good cr clean kick right there to the stomach. At the same time, she threw a kick and did knock her off balance. She went down as a result of the uh, blow. See a little cut opening under the right eye of Freaky Gibbs. All right, that's not a dangerous area to have a cut under the eye. It's over the eye that you got to watch. All right, break out, break out, break out. That's it. That's it. Flash by Freaky Gibbs. Way too far away from Alex. I like the way Hannah keeps her hands up. You notice she's got her hands right up there by her chin, protecting her. Uh, she's not fooled by some of these flashy techniques. Very focused. Hey, don't hold the leg. Don't hold the leg. On. She doesn't sit out there on the outside very long. She's always coming forward. Hennen has been termed relentless by her European opponents. She won her light welterweight title against Zelda Tekken. It was uh, a, a, a battle from bell to bell with Hennen forward, Tekken backwards. Well, I can see she has uh, earned her nickname. She keeps coming in on uh, Williams. It's relentless pressure right there. And in here in her American debut, the vastly more experienced fighter with 27 professional fights, 25 of them victories, to just eight for Gibbs. Gibbs seems unimpressed with Hennen's credentials, however. Well, Hennen told us that she wanted to fight the toughest opponent we could find in North America for this debut. Freedia Gibbs, although her record doesn't reflect a lot of experience, uh, we were told, and we are finding out now, that she hey, is one of the toughest. Hold, 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 hold. obviously hold, hold, well conditioned. Don't hold in here. Don't hold in here. Don't hold in here. Don't hold hey, don't hey, hold in here. Back, man. All right, go back. End of the round, and a warning for Gibbs from the referee. Corner immediately goes to work on the cut under her right eye. It's Jacob Duran and Dave Crapes in the corner. They're going to use that in swell. They're going to use some fast lane to close that cut. Stand too much at 12 o'clock. I want you moving to the side. Don't stand in front of her. She wants you to stand in front of her. She's depending on you doing that. You've got to move to the side and you got to stick it with your left as you move. You angle when you move. Relax, relax. Plenty of time to see it. The Gibbs hand flurry in that last round. Not a lot of damage, but a lot of pressure. A lot of power behind those techniques. She's got some. It's not a bodybuilding contest, but she's got some strong arms and shoulders. Take the right down half kick, right cross. Wide open for I don't think I'd want to challenge her in an arm wrestling contest, Don. She holds a BA degree in marketing. She's a marketing representative in her daily life. Okay, break out, break out, break out. That's it. Fight out, that's it. Okay, break out, break out. 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 Break she holds the world title at 142 pounds. This bout is for the 137 pound title. As we saw her weight was 138. One pound is allowed over maximum. But she dropped a lot of weight for this bout. We'll see if it makes a difference. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. 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 Pick it
out, break it out. Break out, break out. Watch your stick on the break. Shash your hands up. 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 And down goes the champion. She looked like she could have been caught in the back of the head. She could have been caught in the middle of that spin back fist. And the referee has stopped the fight. Chuck Simonini has stopped the fight, and this is an all-time upset. A stunning upset. Valerie Hinnon struck with a, a looping punch and then hit on the back of the head as she turned. Legal blow. No argument from Hennon. It looked to be the kind of thing that it was timing. Big right, right hand. She throws a spin back fist hit again, back of the head. And the, the second one she couldn't take. She absorbed the right, but when it hit her in the back of the head there, that was it. She never saw that punch coming, and that is the worst way to be hit, is when you have no reaction possibility. Well, it's illegal in boxing, and really the only reason, the only time it's legal in kickboxing is when you yourself turn your back. It was, it was nothing that Williams did. She threw the punch, Valerie turned her back, got hit in the back of the head. Struck her just above suck the ear, the high the on the upper right the part of the, of the head. Now let's go to ring announcer Jerry Hoffman for the announcement. Give her the gloves. You, you deserve the gloves. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, at the 1 minute 22 the second the mark of the third round, four, four, four. the winner by knockout, still undefeated, and new ISKA Women's yes. World Super Lightweight Champion. You heard her take a page from the legend himself, Muhammad Ali. I shocked the world, she said. Well, I think that was I shook up the world, but it might have been I shocked the world. Well, this is the shock here tonight. Valerie Hennon, her only two losses previously to Lucia Riker, uh, the legend from Holland. Well, we hope to get an opportunity to talk with the new women's world light welterweight champion, a lightweight champion, that is, super lightweight champion, Frida Gibbs, a little bit later in the show. Right now, we're going to...